Hello, this is Joe Neville and welcome to video 2 in my series Get Into Git. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to use SSH with Git and specifically how to use SSH with a GitHub account. Git data transfer uses HTTPS by default but we can also use SSH. And for github.com what we need to do is generate an SSH key, add that to our SSH agent and then add it to our account. I'm going to be doing this on a Windows 10 machine. I've already installed Git for Windows which gives me a command line that acts very much like a Linux command line. Now here's the directory that I cloned down in the last video and if you ever want to check whether you're using HTTPS or SSH with a repo for your pushing and pulling you can do a git remote minus v and that will give you there's my remote the origin and you as you can see there's the url so it's https that we are using which is the default so let's jump over to my github.com account here we are hit this and you can see settings so if we go to settings there you see over on the left there ssh and GPG keys. So to add an SSH key we hit the green button and we're presented with this. Okay so we don't have the SSH key at the moment but you get some helpful hints from these links here. So generating an SSH key gives you the information that you require to generate the key. What we need to do we'll go down to this link and it is as you can see it's OS specific so it's automatically detected that I'm using Windows and gives me the specific commands for Windows. So this is what I'm going to do. Git bash, so that's what I've already opened and I need to generate my key. So I will copy that link across. Let's paste that in. Change this to your email address. Okay. Neville one at gmail.com excellent generating the public and private key pair so this is the default position it's under in windows it's under my user joe and it's the hidden folder the dot ssh id underscore rsa so that's where the key's going to go so now i enter a passphrase okay and that's now been generated. So we go back to the instructions. We've entered the password. What you need to do now is you need to tell your operating system to use that key then. So we start our SSH agent and load the key to that. So this is what's happening here. So we need to copy that. It's one of the great things about the documentation for GitHub. Oh, missed that off. There we are. Let's start that up. So that starts the agent up. And then the next step, as it says there, step two, we need to add our key. So you see that it's saying uh, there SSH add. So that's the default position. So if you've got your private key in a different place, then obviously you need to put that um, there, the path to it there. So I'm just using all of the defaults. Excellent. So we add the key in. Now that's where it asks me for the passphrase. Excellent, so now it's added. Now that the key is added to the agent, I don't need to keep adding the passphrase again, which is a nice thing about using SSH. Okay, so what we need to do now, there you can see step three, add the key in. So what it's saying is to use a clip, but I don't have that. You don't actually really need that. You can just do a cat on I know where the default position of it is SSH and bearing in mind this is a, actually this is a really important point it's not the private key that you need to copy it is the public key so it's it's not this ID underscore RSA that's the private key it's the public key so if you're not sure about SSH how it works you have your private key and your public key you keep your private key and you hand out the public key that's why it's 
public. Okay, excellent, there we are. So I can just copy that actually, make sure it starts SSH disk RSA, ends with my email address. I'll copy it like that. Go back to my profile, there we go. Excellent, right, add the key, there we are. Right, the title is, it's already pre-filled because I've done this before and prep for the video, paste the key in there, add the key. Excellent, so there you see the SSH key has been added. I've never used it, so to test it, what you do is SSH minus T git, git at github.com. So that will test whether our key works. Bit of a pause, excellent. Yes, it has detected it's me. Hi, Joe Neville, you've successfully authenticated, but GitHub does not prov provide shell access. This is this line here, this SSH uh, dash capital T git at github.com is just to test your key, which is loaded into the agent. I think, let's see if we refresh this. Does it pick up? It does. Do you see that? That went green there. It just says last used with... Um, sorry, last used within the last week. So you can, um, if you've got lots of keys uh, over time, you're using different OSs with your different accounts. You can see which ones are dormant and get rid of the dormant ones, of course, for security reasons. Let's go back to the Git bash then. Now, remember this ABC dash test repo, I already cloned it using HTTPS. So my Git remote shows minus V shows me using HTTPS. So though I've generated a key, added it to my agent and added it to my github.com account, this repo is not going to use that SSH key. It's still going to use HTTPS. Now you can change the URL here but that's really for a, a later video. If I check the git status, my repo is up to date with the origin master. So the quick and dirty way to do this is to just clone down the repo again. So I'm gonna blow this away and clone down the repo again using SSH. You probably don't wanna do this in, in any kind of production stuff, but seeing as this is just uh, click, quick and dirty, I'm gonna wipe the repo and clone it down using SSH to show you that. Here's my repo, abc-test. Here's the green button to clone. So we hit that. Here's the default clone with HTTPS. So we want to use SSH, hit this link here, and it says use an SSH key and passphrase from the account. So it's given us that URL. We hit that to copy jump over to our git bash and we do a git clone and paste that in. There we are. Cloning into abc-test. After a short pause, it has cloned down. I will change into that abc-test. Now we check git remote minus v. There we are. So as you can see, the origin has changed. So it's using git at github.com and the repo for my fetch and my push there. Okay, so this will now use SSH. So if I do a quick change to the file, Remember git status, we can see modified. So we do git add test, git commit minus m ssh test done git push origin master. Okay, so that's now using our ssh keys. Now one thing to remember, if you're using a passphrase with your SSH key and you reset the SSH agent, for example with a reboot, you're going to have to fire it up again and add the key in and issue the passphrase again. Now there's some helpful hints on GitHub about how to speed this process up. If you go back here to the SSH keys and the generating the keys, 
um, working the, at the bottom here, working with passphrases. So it goes through that for you and also gives you a script here that you can use for also launching. It kind of um, tries to do some hard sell on getting you to use a GitHub desktop. But it does give you this script which you can use so that it will fire up uh, and it will ask you for the passphrase every time you fire up Git um, for Windows. If you're not going to run the script, what you can do is just pick up these two commands that you use. So it's the eval and it's the SSH add. That's what you'll have to run to add the key into your, to start your agent up and to add the key into the agent. So that was video two in Get Into Git, adding an SSH key to Git and your GitHub account. Please do comment, like, share and subscribe. That's all for now. I will be back soon with some more videos looking at Git. My name's Joe Neville. Thanks for watching and goodbye.